Well, new details at 11. Orange County investigators say the search is over for the suspect behind a terrifying sex attack at a local apartment complex that mostly houses college students. So an arrest coming almost two weeks after the incident at the Mercury 3100 apartments on Alafaya Bay Lane. News 6's Treasure Roberts joins us in the studio with new details about that suspect. Treasure. Matt Ginger, he was caught on video last month, and this video has been slowed down, but you see him running towards the victim's unit not long after, though. He ran back toward the stairwell. According to deputies, he was only on the property for about three to seven minutes. Orange County deputies Wednesday arrested 31-year-old Xavier Mendez. He's facing multiple charges, including attempted sexual battery. On November 26th, surveillance video captured him running through a building at Mercury 3100 Apartments. Deputies were alerted that Mendez entered a woman's apartment as she was arriving home after grabbing food. She told deputies Mendez threw her onto a chair, then the floor, and tried to take off her shorts. The victim fought back, kicking and screaming for help until her roommate came out of the bedroom with a pair of scissors. That's when the suspect ran. Mendez faced accusations in 2022 similar to this most recent incident. The arrest affidavit notes Mendez attacked another woman at her apartment complex while she was walking. Charges were filed with the former state attorney, Monique Worrell, but Mendez was not prosecuted. As state attorney, I do not have a duty to maximize incarceration rates. I have a duty only to seek justice, and I am proud to say that for the two and a half years of my tenure, that is exactly what we did. Mendez's arrest comes as Worrell went before the Florida Supreme Court in an attempt to be reinstated as state attorney after Governor Ron DeSantis stripped her of her post this summer. I sent an email to Worrell's point person asking why she didn't file charges. While digging through court records to find that specific case, I found another criminal complaint from 2015 where Mendez again was not prosecuted, this time by former state attorney Aramis Ayala. What I couldn't find though was the case from 2022. I typed in the case number noted in the arrest affidavit, but nothing came up. I called a representative for state attorney Andrew Bain, hoping they knew where it was, but I didn't get an answer. I'll keep searching for it, and when I find it, I'll let you know. Treasure Roberts, getting results, New 6.